Hi, this is Rochelle with Scrap Craftastic, and I'm here to do a little Happy Mail opening along with my Wednesday's haul. So let's go ahead and get into it. Sometime last week, I had a little issue with my snap-in covers for my classic Happy Planner. And one of my followers on Instagram offered to send me her covers because she said they were on the shelf and she wasn't using them. I won't give her name because I'm not sure if she wants that information out there. But so she sent me her covers, and I... I'm hoping that that's what's in this package. Yes, it is. So, oh, and she sent me some extra goodies. Okay. Okay. So, yeah, she sent me a little note uh, talking about the goodies. So, these are the So, these are the covers that she sent. Very nice. She also sent me these note pages which I can definitely use I don't have any like this and some grid paper good and some folders so these are nice a well-planned life things are about to get really good this one is the black and white pluses like that one a lot and the stripes so all these are really nice and I appreciate her for sending me the cover and the extras very nice thing of her to do then on to Priscilla Priscilla is one of our family here on YouTube and she um, often sends me information about deals in different stores which I thoroughly appreciate or items to look out for so I guess she saw these on the Levenger site she did let me know she was sending it and so this is a package from Priscilla via Levenger so she sent me oh the dashboards or covers So they're snap in. She sent me a bunch of them. So this one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I think these are all covers. Let's see. So there's eight sets of two of the compact size translucent covers. So let's see what size is compact. So that's like four and a quarter. By seven. So I'm thinking this would make for a personal size um, notebook. But yep, I have plenty to make notebooks with. Thank you, Priscilla. I'll see what I can make with these. So that's it for the Happy Mail. So I'm going to go on to Joann's. It's not very much. I had to stop in to get some elastic for some point shoes. And I just went over and looked to see what was on clearance or what was uh, on sale. And they had these stamps on clearance. They had these stamps on clearance for $4.97. To me, that's a regular price. But I picked them up because I don't have a lot of word stamps. And I need some kind of stamps for ephemera for my journals. And I thought these would work for that purpose. So I picked those up. Then I also picked up this punch. It is 1 16th inch. So I have a 1 16th now. It was on clearance for $1.97. It's Fisker, so they're a little more expensive because they're a little better than the punches that you get from Dollar Tree. Like I said, I've broken several of the punches that I've gotten from Dollar Tree. But... This is a 16th inch, I have an 8th inch, and I have a quarter inch, so I think I have all the sizes. This is really, really tiny, but I thought it was a good deal, and so I'm adding it to my stash, my collection of tools. So, like I said, not much from Joann. So then I went to Walmart. Pen and Gear is really coming for us with the stuff that they have. 
it's probably a good idea to follow me over on Instagram and check my story sometimes because I do show some of these items while I'm actually in the store. So if you're interested to know about new stuff when I find out about it, that's a good place to find out. Anyway, so I picked up a couple of these document holders. Now they do sell these in Dollar Tree for a dollar. I think these were 97 cents in Walmart. And they had a few other colors, but I'm partial to hot pink. And I will be using these as project holders. So as I work on projects, I put the pieces in here just to keep everything together and not just have it all over the place. Then I also found these document holders. I just thought they were a little more nice. They don't have the gusset on them though. And these are pen and gear also. They're a little nicer but I thought they were also good for for smaller things and the color difference is a good thing like I said they don't have a gusset so I can put more in the pink ones than I can in the gold ones and I got three of those and these are $1.24 the store that I went to is a bigger Walmart and they're starting to put out more and more of the school supplies it seems like they're a little behind with that because school starts here mid-August and we're pushing mid-July here and they don't have all their school supplies out. But anyway, I did find some more new stuff. I found these pen pouches and they have the elastic on. We'll start with this one. It has the elastic on the back. They are uh, $5.98, I think. It's a little pricey, but they're a little nicer than usual. This is what the inside looks like. And it's like a it's not satin I don't know what material that is but it is a material and it, it does have padding this is like a, a vinyl but it's a matte finish and it doesn't feel cheap or anything like that it feels pretty sturdy I don't know how well these seams will hold up but I just thought this is really cute and nice there's not it doesn't expand or anything but it has these pockets on the front has this clear pocket and it has this large pocket on the front so you could even put things in here as well Let's see I don't even have any cards or anything like that on my desk let's, see. let's just you can put your cards down in there um, I don't know what else Uh, this is just a regular pen so definitely your pens would fit in there I don't know about a scissor a smaller scissor maybe some correction tape some highlighters some highlighters so yeah mild liners would fit down in there you can't put a lot but I thought this was really cute and it can go on the front of your planner let's see if it'll fit on the happy planner the elastic is pretty forgiving, so I think it should. Oh, I don't know. That's probably stretching it to the limits to put on a classic, but it will go on there. So it's gonna curl your note your book, so maybe that's not such a good idea. Let's try another size. Let's just try a regular three ring binder since that's what pen and gear sells anyway so yeah that works good it goes on there real nice and fits nicely so I'm pretty sure it would work nice on a B6 and A5 something like that I think the happy planner is a little large for it I thought these were really cute so I picked up this one which is the black and white polka dots or confetti with the pink and then this one is the black and white striped floral it has the black elastics and these elastics feel a little more sturdy than the pink ones and this is what it looks like on the inside it's got the hot pink pocket in the front and the two clear pockets on the front so really cute these don't even have to be for planner stuff they can go in your purse I mean I don't know if you would put makeup in them or what but I just thought those were really cute then I also picked up these fat quarters from Walmart. I had the idea that I should make a um, 
America themed junk journal maybe I don't know but I thought this fabric was nice these are 97 cents and then I picked this up I wanted something a little more girly and water with more of a water feel but I picked this up um, just in case and this will be used with my mermaid journal I really wanted something more of an aqua color but I'll keep looking but I have these two fat quarters that I picked up also from Walmart then I found some more sticker books and we will be doing a flip through I found this one this one this one <laughs> and this one and these were $2.88 and oh, I got this one upside down. They were two eighty eight, and they have varying amounts, but on average about five hundred stickers each. So I'm gonna go ahead and do a flip through. This one was the first one that I saw. It's called Marble Dream. The other ones don't have a name on the cover. This was the only one that actually had a name on the cover. So you got the days of the week, just some boxes, some flags and star circles some large boxes these would probably be good in the big happy planner so to do take note remember don't forget some checklist heart checklist boxes some banners some meal and this is already coming a loose so not the greatest but we have that issue with other sticker books too um, some meal icons and the actual boxes they're a little big but some emoji stars and circles but in different colors some quarter boxes square boxes with gold foil see that some flags flag headers I don't know you could use these with layering if you have those word stickers, they would go nice on those. Some banners, blank and with text. Some heart checklists. Payday workout, important headers, reminder headers. Weekend banners, these are nice. Some icons. Trackers hydrate some more headers some washi strips and that's it then here is the next book it's got that same floor pattern on the washi strips it's got some floral stickers some icons food uh, coffee or tea cake lips light bulb another cup coffee cup some deco these are nice there's a watercolor deco some circles boxes and I don't know what these are called so blank headers maybe some decorative boxes some alpha numbers and symbols these are banner or pendants not sure how, what to call those some check marks and X's some full boxes get it done full boxes or well, these are extra large full boxes some headers blank headers and banners some more decorative boxes some more emojis with some gold foil more banners and that's it for this one and this is what it looks like on the back here's the info and here's the back of the first one that I did and here's the info on that And I'll try to remember to take pictures and put pictures of the back in the community so that you can hopefully find them at your stores if you're looking. This is the washi strips. It's 
some gold foil diamonds, icons, vehicle, calculator, uh, globe, paint. This looks like a pencil, I think. Um, a beaker, <laughs> soccer ball, book. So this is probably a student version. A book, a microscope, scissors, and magnifying glass. Some comment boxes. The headers, star circles, and boxes. Decorative boxes, but they're lined. Ooh, I like this alpha. Alpha. Numbers and symbols. Stars. Arrows. The check and X marks. Some extra large full boxes. Main takeaway, key point, homework, important. So yeah, this would be probably a school version. Heart checklist boxes. Banners. Here's your meal icons and boxes they should leave these out <laughs> sorry pen and gear we don't need these i don't think we need these um not so many but the emoji cons and then these are just some decorative circles word circles living cool o omg bff yep extra this y okay lit hiya Yes, and, whoa, yeah, these are cute. Yay, this to do, hey, I am, bruh, go, 100, okay, wait, look, need first, no, yeah, oh my, OMG. Okay, and then it repeats. I like the bruh. Yeah, my daughter's like, don't say that in public. <laughs> okay, so that's it for this one. This is the back. This is the information. Then last, we have this one. I think this is the one that's all blue. Yeah. So, there we go. That's the front. We've got the washi strips. We've got the days of the week. I can see some blue spreads in my future. <laughs> the banners, the stars, the boxes. Some decorative boxes. These are smaller, but they, they are still lined, and there's some gold foil there. The checklist boxes. Payday workout flags. Important reminder headers. The check mark and X mark icons. That's what they are. The extra large or oversized full boxes to do. Take note, don't forget mediation. That's different. Some more of the heart checklists. You got some circle icons with words. And these pretty much have the same words that were in the other book. Well, they're a little different. So this says Zen. This yay love okay idea task. And then that just repeats all the way down. Okay. Some blank headers with the pointer on the side. Some square boxes with room to write in them. These, I don't, what are these for? Is this for appointments and that bell? Is that a bell? If you know what these are for sure, leave a comment below and let me know. I'm guessing that that's what it is, an appointment or that's supposed to be like an alarm bell maybe some blank headers shaped like pointers or arrows these are circle icons or headers you can use them as headers and the same do meeting page date when that repeats and you get some that are just striped and then that repeats again then you got some weekend banners and icons of all sorts so i see some laundry in here i see a cell phone I see a basketball, a bicycle, a stethoscope, a tooth for the dentist, an envelope for mail. So there's a good variety of icons there. And that's it. So these four books are what I found new from Pen and Gear at Walmart. Oh, here's the back of this one. 
So these are the four that I found plus these cute little pin cases. And here's the information for that. And then here's the information on that one. So that's everything that I have for Wednesday's haul. If you have any questions or comments, please leave them below. If you like videos like this, please subscribe to the channel and hit the bell for notifications. And make sure you choose all the notifications. And thank you for watching. I'll talk to you later. Bye.